If you've ever watched the financial television, you will know that they sometimes talk about liquidity. Liquidity. Liquidity means how easy is it to buy and sell? How easy is it to buy and sell? So, if we have a liquid market, a liquid market, then we have good liquidity. A liquid market has good liquidity. Li like liquid is like water. It flows, right? So if the market flows, it means it's easy to buy and sell. So, what makes a liquid market? Well, first we have a thing called narrow spreads. Narrow means like this, and spreads means the difference between buying and selling. What is the difference in price between buying and selling? So if it's like $29.01 and $29.02, that's only a one cent spread. So that would be a narrow spread. But if the difference between buying and selling is like a dollar or two dollars, say it's $29 and $30, that's not a narrow spread. That's a huge, huge $1 gap. So, in a liquid market, we have narrow spreads. We also have frequent sales. Frequent sales. Frequent means often, like a lot after another. And sales means just selling. So, there's frequent sales. So, that means that like every second there's people buying and selling, buying and selling. That's a frequent sale and that helps a liquid market. The final aspect of a liquid market is to have small fluctuations. Small fluctuations. What is a fluctuation? A fluctuation is how high and da up and down it moves. So if the price is like 29 and then 30 and 35 and 10, those are big fluctuations. So small fluctuations is like $29.01 to $29.02, down to $28.92, up to 20, you know, little tiny movements is a small fluctuation. And that is part of a liquid market.